Next for induction is Greg O'Brien, a versatile athlete who grew up in Madison, played in its youth sports programs, excelled on the baseball diamond at Madison Edgewood High School, and took his skills to the Wisconsin Badgers. Greg O'Brien was born September 18, 1950, to Jerry and Elaine O'Brien. He was one of seven siblings in the family growing up with brothers Dan, Tom, and Alan, and sisters Nancy, Pam, and Mary Beth. He especially liked baseball and basketball as a youth, and he honed his craft on the sandlots and playgrounds of Madison. He attended St. Mary's School and played City League and Little League Baseball. His father owned a grocery store on the east side, and in 1962 the family moved to Waupon, where he led the Little League team to a second place finish in the state tournament. After two years, they moved back to Madison, and O'Brien continued to excel on the diamond. He played on and pitched for the senior Little League team that won the state championship in 1964. And two years later, he pitched and played every position but second base for the American Legion team that won the first Legion state championship for a Madison team. He hit 360 on that team, had an earned run average of .028, and was named tournament MVP. O'Brien headed to Edgewood for high school and had an immediate impact on the Crusaders team. He lettered all four years, was named All-City all four years, and the Crusaders won two state titles in three trips to state. His pitching record for four years at Edgewood, 22 and 0. As a freshman, the Crusaders finished runners-up in the state private schools tournament. O'Brien had two key pitching performances his sophomore year at state. He was the winning pitcher in a state semifinal game over Milwaukee Mesmer, and then came in in relief of Tom Bennett in the title game. The Crusaders, who once led 5-0 against Racine St. Catharines, saw their lead cut to 5-3 in the fourth and the bases loaded, one out, when O'Brien came in. So he proceeded to hit the first batter, cutting the lead to 5-4. But then he struck out the next and got the final out on a comebacker to the mound. He retired the side in order in the next two innings and took the 5-4 lead into the seventh. Racine loaded the bases, but O'Brien forced two ground outs and a foul out to give the Crusaders the 5-4 win and an unbeaten season. As a junior, O'Brien and the Crusaders won another private school title, beating St. Catharines again in the title game. His senior year, he led the Crusaders and all city pitchers with eight wins against no losses. He had an amazing three earned runs and struck out 82 in 58 innings. He also hit 413, second best in the city. He was named Edgewood's MVP and captain after the season. On the basketball court, O'Brien received all city and all area recognition in both his junior and senior years. His senior year, he was one of 10 Cap Times all area players, along with a Monona Grove player named Andy North. Edgewood posted a 19-2 mark in 1968, his senior year, and he was named team captain. But O'Brien made his biggest sports impression in baseball. The Atlanta Braves offered him a pro contract, but he accepted a baseball scholarship to the University of Wisconsin to play for his hometown Badgers. Freshmen couldn't play on the varsity, so he plied his trade on the Frosch team his first year. His sophomore year, 1970, was also the final year that Diney Mansfield coached the team. In his first game against Oklahoma, he smashed into the outfield wall and took a home run from a Sooners hitter. He also homered and doubled later that day in a win over Arizona. As a junior, O'Brien led the Badgers in home runs with five, drove in 16 runs, and had 28 hits. He led the Badgers to a doubleheader sweep of Indiana in the final Big Ten games of the season. His home run in the first game and a big catch in the second helped the Badgers to a 20-19 season mark. O'Brien was named captain for his senior year. In the summers, O'Brien played industrial league ball for Lesky Supper Club, and he helped the team win the state title in 1970. He was awarded the most outstanding play of the tournament when he made a running catch in right field and then threw the potential tying run out at the plate for the final out of the title game. Lesky's also won the title in 1971. O'Brien and Lesky's won state again in 73 as he homered and doubled in the title game. He made the all-tourney team four straight years with Lesky's. He won another state title playing for Howard Johnson's in 1975. 
but his most memorable state title game came five years later in 1980. In his final at-bat, in the bottom of the ninth, he hit a grand slam home run to lead the Avenue Bar to a dramatic 7-6 win. He was named tournament MVP and made the all-tournament team again. Wanting to have that feeling forever, he retired from competitive play that evening. He got the coaching bug and took over the Edgewood High School program in 1988. Together with best friend Jim Nye, they led the Crusaders for 15 years before stepping away in 2003. He guided the team to eight regional titles. Shortly after retiring from coaching, he was elected to the Edgewood High School Hall of Fame in 2003. O'Brien also has a love of bowling, and he began league bowling in 1960 when he was 10. He continues to bowl in leagues to this day and sports a 208 average and a high series of 782. He stays active in the sports community by serving as a WIAA volleyball official, an MSCR softball umpire, and the official scorer and timekeeper of Edgewood High School basketball games. O'Brien was married for 34 years to his biggest fan, Judy, who passed away due to complications from diabetes. They have a daughter, Katie, who is married to John Call, and O'Brien has a grandson, Quinn Gregory. O'Brien says he's thinking of coming out of retirement, but only to coach one player, little Quinn. The Madison Sports Hall of Fame and the American Family Insurance Company are proud to induct Greg O'Brien into the class of 2010.